All righty. Congratulations, sir. Man, good stuff and bad stuff, but hey. It's mostly go good, I think. I don't understand. Or you got a problem with your static port. Alright, that's pretty easy. Did you get the GPS speeds in there? Uh, they'll be on the tape. Ah, we need to check that. Uh, maybe because right money. now we have the stall speed the same as flap up and 35 down. Or 30, whatever it was. 30, yeah. It was. Uh, but the, you, you noticed that it went down, uh, that, uh, nose down. There's and, definitely a trim change, yeah. Yeah. But it didn't take much elevator position to change it. That's that's good. Nick. That's all good. Yeah. That's all good. That's super. The good. roll power now the airspeed indicator speed never came down, but roll power wasn't a problem. Like he was handling the what like I was worried. You know we talked about it, all this yeah, lateral yeah, yeah, trim yeah. stuff. Yeah. Like none of that stuff was an issue. And um, the flaps went out. Smooth. They must have been like it was disconcerting. Like um, one time I deployed twenty. It was like you know beep, 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 yeah. beep, beep, twenty like fly fly fly. Yeah. Look out and it's a twenty five. Okay, so pulled back up to 20, did my stuff, like then we went to the next one to 25. And then when I did 30, I set it to 30, and just as I was starting to look away, I saw it start to go, like it stopped, and then I started to look away, and it kept going, whoa, 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 stopped it, and pulled it back up oh, to I 30. I know what that is. It's, obviously there's a mechanical... Uh, but like wind up. Wind up, right? Yeah. So whatever Air Force pitching moment that the flap has, it's either pulling it out or pushing it in, depending on the location. And I know this since we did the uh, the follow flap stuff at work. You know, we did the load. And see if the, it's all over the place. It's all over the place. It goes yeah. like this, right? Sometimes it pushes it in, and sometimes it pulls it back. Um, and so it felt like you know, there's like a combination of like wind up and friction and air force and so like you know you would yeah. kind of like put it to a spot and then look away and it'd be still moving and what got me was that there wasn't enough of this right that i was having roll problems which is great now i guess the other side is if if we don't have an airspeed indication problem and they're not generating any lift that would explain why they could do this but you will you will always have a downwash even a split flap a stupid split flap has downwash Right? And so the pitch will, trim changed, so something's happening. Yes, yes, you will have a downwash. So, uh, elevator, you got buffeting on the elevator? Yeah, it's buffeting, and like then the force just goes away. And like I can take it all the way to the stop, and all it does is increase the chances that the it's going to drop a wing. Airspeed doesn't go down. Okay, so we're but like, you know, it's like here, right? So like I can go like from here to here. No way. It's like so much. Like we'll look at the tapes, but it's like so much. So that's a good point. We, without a wing tip, I don't have, all we have is cockpit stuff. But you know, that tells me that we're stalling the elevator. A, a row of vortex generators is what's coming up next. And then the next step is if we didn't have those tufts right before the hinge line, what would that have been? Because they're going to act like little vortex generators. Yeah, not enough though. Not enough. The boundary layer is going to be about that thick. Oh, really? Yeah. But, you know, looking at all these videos, you really need to share all of that stuff because <laughs> I am so curious. Yeah, well... But I'm so glad that we got to, was it 35? Pull it out to 35 here. Up, oh, right there, right? Yeah. Okay. Here, you should have a lot of slot effect right there. And you should have a little bit here. So these might be stalled, but it looks like all the tufts have been working. They're all unwound. Yeah. No, this is gonna be cool. We, we will we will find a good solution with this. I am certain. You know, it's just a matter of. Uh, I mean, that, that's a lot of shit hanging out in the breeze that we just got away with. <laughs> and not you're also increasing the wing area. You should, from what I can see here, you should have seen a 10 degree or 8 to 10 knot difference. This is like a normal flap for, 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 a, for a, you know, a regular flap. And they stall right here. It doesn't matter what they do, they stall right there. So I was eyes forward. I didn't look at tops during yeah. the... No, I understand. I mean, airspeed. Yeah. And we have... Um, I was thinking about with this elevator all the way up if that camera is going to catch the tufts that are on the elevator Because you like you can look at it now and see what it can see 
I just hope we, you know, if there's information, we didn't lose it. Well, so uh, elevator trim all the way back, right? Yeah. yeah. It was not enough. It was not enough. No. But in this class, it's still low. What's up? Stick forces are still low. Super low. Yeah. Super low. And so the min speed uh, correlated to like no more force to pull the stick back. And like so, so when I reached min speed, that was when the stick, uh, like there was no force back here. Like I could bump like force that way, but not this way, right? And then I would go, like I was a change in force this way, but not this way. And then you could keep pulling it, was just buff it, buff it, buff it, buff it, and no force. Like it felt like if I just went like, it would just go. That Which sounds like stalling. Sounds like stalling.